Assalamu alaikum. I'm a student of Air University and welcome to my channel. And uh, I am a student in Air University currently studying mechatronics engineering. And today, the topic which we will give our lecture on is We will give our lecture on this question that we have solved, that is to design a firmware that can perform following operations. And first of all, we have to take a input number A ranging from X value 00, 0 to FF through port B, store it on register 16. Similarly, Take input number B ranging 00 FF through port B, store it on register 17. And then we will perform some operations and we will from port C and the result will be displayed on port D. So here it is our code. Here we can see this code is simulated inside the assembly language in Atmel Studios. The code starts from here. First, we will use load command in uh, to uh, load a value inside register 20. Then we will uh, give output command to set its direction inside uh, pin B or port B, then inside port C or pin C, and then load command is used for another register R21 to store a hex value FF inside R21, and the output uh, will set the direction towards in B or port D. And then we will use input command to set the R register 16 inside pin B and R17 inside pin B and R22 inside pin C. Then we will use cycles per in instruction command. This is used basically for this command that is BREQ. BREQ branch if equal to, that means if the Z flag is high, if Z is equal to one, it will perform this operation inside this R22, that is pin C. We will give command towards this. And similarly for plus, minus, multiplication, and all the operations that are given in our question. Now, first, uh, the basic programming that we will start is from here. That is, first we will give a label of which of the function we will be, will be performing. And inside the plus, we will add the two registers, the storing register and the destination register. This R16 is RD, this is RR, and this is destination register. Inside this re destination register, the addition of these two uh, registers will be done and stored inside this destination register as and will be displayed as, uh, as output inside port D. And similarly in minus, these two registers will be subtracted. This is our subtract command, and the output will be stored in R16. Similarly, in multiplication, uh, and operation, or operation. But in uh, I will I will discuss this not operation. For this, we have to complement the value of R16. For for example, it, the value is uh, the value of R16 is 0, 0100. 0, 0. When we will complement this, or we will use negation or not then the value will be 1011. Zero, one, one. Zero, one, for 0100, zero, zero, it will be 1011. One, one. And then the output will be <coughs> displayed inside port D. Similarly, for NAND, the, uh, we will complement R16 and perform AND operation between these two registers. And the output will be stored inside port D. For NOR, the OR operation will be done and the, we will complement R16 and the output will be stored inside port D in XOR we will simply use this command E or exclusive or between these two registers and the output will be stored inside port D. In XNOR, we will perform exclusive or operation and we'll, we will complement similarly uh, for negation, we will complement R16, the destination register, and the output will be stored inside port D and the loop will end here. Now, if we see that from here, we will rebuild our solution. Here we can see one succeeded, 
and this means that our code was correct. Then we will start our debugging. I have already debugged uh, my program. So the first step that uh, the first you can see the notification comes that we have to uh, apply some simulation. So we will here uh, it appears a command window and we have to choose to simulate our program and we will select simulator and then start our debugging. But I have already done that and that we will step into our command and now we will uh, continue our recording inside Proteus and similarly these uh, inputs are given to the pin C. We are using these ports as pins similarly for these and we have connected logic toggles for that and for output we have used port D as commanded inside our question. So here we can see that these are our operations. First we will give our hex file here. That is, this is our uh, hex value. We will edit components, uh, edit the properties of this program file and we will transfer that program file in, inside this Arduino. This is our Arduino AT Mega 2560. And if we start our simulation, here are the operations that we want to perform. And thanks for watching my video. I hope you understood the topic that I have been discussing. And that's all for today. Uh, love is.